Another TV diversity darling has uncovered some awkward news. Her five times great grandfather was white and owned slaves. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. TV networks in the UK are marking Black History Month by having black celebrities uncover the history of their ancestors. But the discoveries aren't exactly playing into their planned narrative. As I covered last week, BBC diversity hire Alex Scott cried after finding out her four times great grandfather owned 26 slaves in Jamaica. He was black again emphasising how black tribal leaders sold their own people into slavery. But now in the space of a single week, it's happened again. TV presenter Charlene White, a funny surname given the circumstances, appeared on ITV's documentary Empire's Child. The appearance was ostensibly an exercise in the presenter detailing how her ancestors were sold into slavery by evil Whitey. And then for the TV show to make white viewers feel guilty about it. Turns out White's ancestors were sold into slavery by their own father. Diane has discovered a man named John Stanbury, and he was registered as the owner of slaves. So John Stanbury was white? Yes, he was. John Stanbury was my great, 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 great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Well, this is strange. <laughs> Oops, narrative fail. So Scott's ancestor was black, he owned slaves. White's ancestor was white, he owned slaves. And that's the point. Every culture, creed and ethnicity throughout history owned slaves. Yet for some bizarre reason, history only teaches kids that it was all whitey's fault. Even though white Europeans literally risked their own lives to travel to Africa and free the slaves. And Britain was the first nation on the planet to legally abolish slavery. And modern slavery still exists in brown and black countries. No, it's all our fault. Colonialism bad. Old white men bad. Now let's tear down some statues and give me that reparations. <laughs>